Hey everyone, welcome back to River's Edge Cutlery. My name is Anthony and today we are discussing day packs. I am so excited about this series and I'm really excited about the VanQuest Ibex 26, which is the day pack that I chose. And today we are gonna dive into all of its features. I'm gonna tell you all why I think this is one of the best packs. If you're only gonna have one that will do you for short day trips, travel, um, even some overnight trips in the woods, uh, this pack is fantastic. So let's go ahead. Let's dive in. All right, before we dive into this backpack and all of its features, can we go ahead and just appreciate how beautiful this place is right here? So this is one of my favorite places to come and do day trips at. So I thought that it was only fitting to uh, discuss day packs in this beautiful setting right here. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this pack right here. This is the VanQuest Ibex 26, and I've used VanQuest bags for a couple of years now, and in my opinion, they have the best suspension systems out of any backpacks out there. So you may be totally new to this type of a backpack. So what in the world is a suspension system? So a suspension system is not just something that goes on a car, um, but this is the suspension system of your backpack right here. So number one, you've got to have something to carry it on your shoulders with. And VanQuest backpack straps are very well padded. This one right here has load lifters, which is really nice. So this kind of tucks the bag up against your shoulders a little bit more and prevents it from just kind of sagging away from your body because that is absolutely miserable throughout the day if that happens on your backpack. So the backpack straps of this Ibex 26 are fantastic and they do have those load lifters. Next up on the suspension system, and we're just gonna kind of work our way from the top to the bottom on this pack right here. So next up, you have a sternum strap, and this one is very good um, as far as the adjustability. So if you're a bigger guy or girl, then you can definitely let this thing out. And then just the same, if you're smaller like I am, you can really cinch this down and uh, it's got some good adjustments there. And just kind of another attention to detail right here. And I really like this from an emergency standpoint. It's got a whistle built into the buckle right here. So if you're lost or you're trying to signal, then this is a fantastic option to always have with you because who honestly remembers to pack a whistle? Uh, I keep one on my keychain, but that is the only reason that I ever have a whistle with me. I always forget to add one to a pack, so that's pretty cool. And then down here, you have the hip belt. And so right here is a huge kidney pad. I would say that that thing is every bit of an inch thick, which is fantastic. That's gonna give some good all day comfort. And then again, just like with the sternum strap, the hip belt has a lot of adjustment. So if you're a bigger person or if you're a smaller person, you're gonna be able to fit into this pack. And then right here, uh, there is kind of elastic keepers. So you don't have a bunch of webbing just flopping around because that's really annoying and it kind of looks goofy as well. So VanQuest really thought out the suspension system of this pack. And uh, that's one of the things that I really like about them. All right, so that right there is the suspension system of this bag. So now let's go ahead and we'll kind of rotate the bag around and I'll show you all some of the exterior features and why I chose this particular bag for these features. So on both sides, it has mirrored zippered pockets. So it has a really nice high vis orange interior. That's really nice for low light to be able to find your gear. And uh, honestly, your gear just stands out from it in any light, which is nice when you're digging around trying to find what you need. Um, um, and then as you'll see with VanQuest bags, um, kind of all around, they have a lot of hook and loop so that you can go ahead and attach different types of pouches. And then on the outside of this bag, again, mirrored on both sides, um, are some laser cut molly panels. And on this side, I have a tourniquet holder and in there I have a cat tourniquet and some trauma shears. Both sides also have some nice retention straps so that you can really cinch this tight so that everything's not flopping about. They have some good grab handles all around this bag as well so you can pick this thing up like a briefcase. 
And then on this side, again, another grab handle on that side, and then another mirrored pocket just like the other side with some laser cut molly. And on this side, I have the Hydra Carrier, and this one is by VanQuest as well. It can accommodate some really large bottles, and then it can also accommodate some small ones. That's kind of the beauty of how this thing adjusts, and it's got a lot of shock cord as well, so that everything's gonna stay put. And now speaking of shock cord, right here on the front is another big bunch of shock cord. You can let it out and you can shove a layer down in here. So let's say that I was getting too hot wearing this, then I could shove this right down in here, cinch it tight, and it's not going to go anywhere. Also right down here at the bottom, if you're hiking some uh, kind of steep terrain or over some rough country, then you're able to put some uh, trekking poles right up through here. Um, so whenever they're not in use, you can put them right there, which is nice. All sorts of little uh, hooking and attachment areas. You've got a place for morale patches right here. And that is some very, very sticky Velcro, which is really nice. And then, up here in the front, this is a feature that I personally love to have and I look for it in all of my backpacks. I want a uh, either a top pocket, which is very easy to access, or something on the very front of the bag. And why I want that is so that I can get access to some items that I need right now, whether that's a compass, a fire kit, some first aid materials, whatever that may be. I want it to be easy to access. And the Ibex 26 has this top pocket and it fit the bill perfectly for me. All right, quick commercial break and then we will get back to the Ibex 26 here. But if you were looking to get your next adventure pack put together all the way from the backpack to the things in the backpack, head over to riversedgecutlery.com. We literally have a wall in our store dedicated to just backpacks and pouches. And I will put a picture of it somewhere over through here. And then as far as anything that you need on the inside of your pack, uh, your knives, your tools, your fire starters, whatever the case may be, we have a huge selection of that stuff over there on our website as well. So go over there, check it out. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so that is the exterior of the Ibex 26, but let's go ahead, we'll dig into the interior. And the first thing that I like right here is this clamshell opening system. So this whole front flap, it kind of uh, comes over just like a suitcase would. So you have access to the very bottom of your backpack, the middle and the top all at one time. And then right here on this lid, as uh, you all know how much I liked the exterior top pocket right here, well, you also have access to it right back here. So if you need to grab something real quick when your bag is all the way open, then you can do that. And then right down here, you kind of have the see-through mesh material and uh, you can kind of get an idea of what is on the inside of this pocket just by looking at it. And that is a really nice little organization feature. And this mesh is extremely tough. Uh, whatever VanQuest have done with this, it is not like that cheap mesh that you would get at like a Walmart backpack whenever you were uh, in school. This stuff is very tough. I've had some pretty pokey um, objects in here before and it has never poked through, ripped, or done anything to this material which is nice. As far as more organization, you've got some good hook and loop right here, right here, there, and on this back panel that you can't see because there are things that are attached to it right now. So what I like about this uh, hook and loop material is you can get these sticky cubes and these are by VanQuest as well. This one right here is set up as my fire kit. So if I need to come over here to my fire lay, make a fire real quick, all I've got to do is just grab this pouch because I know that's my fire kit, do my work over there and then put it all back away and put it where it belongs here in my pack so that I know that it is always here whenever I need it the most. So this is not going to be a full look at the actual kit components. That will be our next video. So definitely tune into that and you all will see all the tools that I like to carry out here on a day trip, uh, whether that is my knife or whether that's the full fire kit, whatever, we will definitely cover that in the next video. And I'm super excited for you all to check that one out with me.
All right, everyone, so that is a quick look at my ideal day pack, which is the Ibex 26 from VanQuest. I am super excited about this pack. It is very comfortable. It has under 30 liters of storage, which I think is definitely more than enough for any day trip that you'll ever get into, but you can stretch it out for an overnighter as well. So if you are still looking for your ideal day pack, drop us a comment down below and let us know what you're looking for, whether you've already got it on your wish list or if you've already selected your bag like I have, let me know what your ideal day pack is down below. We'd love to check that out. Definitely stay tuned next month because that video about the full kit dump, everything that I carry on a day trip, and things that I can stretch over to an overnighter, that's going to be dropping next month, and I'm super excited about that video. And until then, you all have a fantastic day, and definitely get out, get your boots dirty, try your gear, enjoy these beautiful wild places. Hopefully there's no snakes in here because I'm sitting right on a habitat. Quick look at the VanQuest Ibex 16 as well. 26, not a 16. What is a... Uh, go ahead and dive into the features of this... Well, tongue-tied already.